It's moving day! This is very different from a normal packing video. Last guy to carry in. I'm trying to take deep breaths. I cried in the shower. I brought our first child into the home. <laughs> and the big freaking mirror. Yeah. Hello and welcome to the weekly vlog of one of the most chaotic weeks of my life. So this is the last vlog in our apartment, which is so sad, but also so happy. We have talked a little bit about the house and I'm gonna have a whole video that's dedicated to all the freaking stuff that we are doing to the house. But for now, it is time for me to get my life together because we move out in a couple of days. When this video is posted, we will be completely moved out. First thing on the agenda, because I literally cannot slow down ever, is I'm leaving for a trip. Sunday, when this video is posted, I will be in the Bahamas. So I have to pack for the Bahamas before packing up my room so that I can like have all of the stuff with me. So I started stockpiling. One, two, three, four. This one's so beautiful too. Five, this is gorgeous, six, Seven, that's cute, gorge. I have found all the bikinis I want, except for this one from Lenny Swims. It's a purple like reversible. And I just went through all of these and I can't find where it is. I found it. I've been wanting a little mini skirt and this one from Paxon is so cute. I got some dresses from Abercrombie and this flowy one is adorable. Luggage is out. We have the big suitcase and then this new backpack. So I'm feeling like I'm gonna have a good handle on things. is toiletries and makeup. I'm gonna pack this in a different bag because I'm gonna need this for the next couple of days. Now that I've packed my suits for the trip, it's time to put my bikinis away to be packed and I'm just gonna throw them all in a garbage bag. I think this one's at max capacity, so we're gonna do another. I'm just kind of in a groove, so I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna do jeans in the next bag. Denim, done. Now I'm just gonna do like my random pants and shorts. This is very different from a normal packing video. I feel like I'm so organized and then it comes to us moving our house and I'm like, heck now, just throw it in the bag. Josh has just been working non-stop at the house. I brought our first child into the home. I have a feeling we're gonna have a lot more plans. His mom has another box of children. <laughs> I just came upstairs for the first time since everything's been finished and oh my gosh, the floors look so good. This just looks like a gorgeous coastal beachy cottage floor. The last bag. I just took a much needed shower, like hair wash, everything. I am definitely feeling it. Like the mental, I guess, <laughs> the mental state of being on the go and having to work on home things nonstop for the past two weeks and then pack all of the house and keep up with my work stuff. And like, I'm trying to take deep breaths. I cried in the shower and I've cried so much in the past few days, but I feel like I'm being dramatic and everybody moves, but it's just like, wow. Buying your first home, especially doing things to it and moving out, it is so overwhelming. And I keep being like, trying to put into perspective how amazing it is. And like, even this overwhelming is a huge blessing of something that we're about to walk into. 
but yeah, that's me just being honest with like how I am feeling. Um, so yeah, today it was more packing and doing things to the house. We finished painting the closets, painting the doors, painting the trim around the fridge. And tomorrow is basically the last day to get anything with the house ready before we put the stuff in. So I'm trying to finish up some packing things at the house and yeah, I'm just trying to take deep breaths as I go. <laughs> Dang it, I don't think I have like leave-in conditioner. I don't have a brush, I don't have a comb, and I don't have any leave-in conditioner. So whatever the state of my hair is, is just how it's gonna be. I got a second wind and I took down the curtains and then I packed up random things like skincare fridge, jewelry holder, just the stuff that needed to be bubble wrapped and like a lamp. Put that into a box and let me show you what it's all looking like. It looks so crazy, but really it's just big furniture and shelving left. This is just furniture and then literally we almost have 40 full boxes. So it's kind of crazy. The kitchen is completely unpacked. I just have to put away those things and that. Even more stuff over here. This has kind of been like the packing corner, which is very nice because we have the bubble wrap, the little papers. Those are great to get. And it's just a little system over here. I think the office is the least done because Josh wants to do his stuff but my side is pretty much cleared out. And then our closet that has served as the only storage that we have, that also has to be gone through. Now I'm going to sit in my bed and log on to my email and do some stuff and then maybe try to go to sleep because tomorrow is our last day to get it all done. Good morning. It's the next day, obviously. I woke up and went in my closet and I was like, I can't get anything. Also, I came back because I found this little pad, notepad thing that Josh had and he wrote this. So that's cute. I have a wax appointment, so I have to get ready really quick. I'm gonna load some stuff in the car and I'm headed to the house after. It's kind of chillier today, but it does feel really good to walk because I've been bending over and like lifting things for a long time. So I feel like the walk is kind of loosening everything, but I'm on my way to my wax appointment. It's like a 10 minute walk from our apartment. And I was like, let me embrace one last time of walking in downtown to something. So that's where I'm headed now. I have to get my nails done. Do I have the time to do this? No, not really, but we're gonna do it um, because I have my trip coming up and these are just busted and like so broken. But I think I'm just gonna do a blue color because I don't think I have the patience to sit for like the full pattern or do anything crazy. Even though it would be fun to have for the Bahamas, I just don't think that's in the cards for today. So let's go get these bad boys done. They look so pretty. So now I grabbed some Taco Bell and then popped over to Home Depot. I think I've been to Home Depot every single day for the past like week or two weeks. It's actually ridiculous, but going to get some cleaning supplies and air filter and then clean the heck out of this fridge and oven. gosh I cannot believe it I feel like we have done so much and I've been running around all morning doing last minute things pulling the couch cushions off putting those in trash bags literally boxing up every single thing that we own and thank god we're only moving 20 minutes away because I'm like we can come back and do other trips but I'm trying to get it all done in one shot I can't believe that it is our last day in our beautiful apartment and even though I'm sad I'm so excited for this next season but we have a bunch of people coming thank God for having amazing friends to come and help us move today Josh's dad is picking up the moving truck and let's get this show on the road this is making me feel all sorts of uncomfortable like there's stuff literally everywhere. Hey Greta. I'm here in my moving outfit. No, it's the socks because nothing else is really throwing it and then the socks. Um, yeah, I wasn't thinking about it this morning. I thought what's my most comfortable pieces that I can wear to move and I, this is what I threw I on. approve this message. <laughs> Take four at a time. There's a lot of boxes. <laughs> 
two box trips done. We filled this whole freaking elevator, and now next up we have all of the furniture. And the big freaking mirror. Yeah. It's just Greta and I gotta do that <laughs> one. We're gonna let the boys take a sip of water. Yeah. She's really in a bad mood, you guys. Yeah, I'm stressed. This is the real Natalie that you guys didn't get to see. You have a tear on your shirt from me. It is Natalie. But it was our first place together and it was so special. And I'm like, we're so excited, but yeah. thanks for joining along on this journey. And I can't wait to see where we're going next. It's gonna be a lot of fun.